Good afternoon. We're here at FOUND for our final conversation uh, with members of the Welsh Group. We've got Robert MacDonald here with us. Hello, Robert. Hello. Um, and he's got six of his drawings and paintings um, here with us, and he's going to talk about that. We've got two here on the wall here. Um, we've got this one entitled Aberisca here. And then we've got three more, which for the purpose of this talk, I've put here close to the others. Um, but um, when they're hanging in the gallery, they've been um, in different places if you, if you choose to come in. Um, so Robert, first of all, um, how, how long have you been a member of the Welsh Group? Gosh, um, since the late um, um, 1990s, uh, okay. 98, 99, I became a member, so I'm quite long, so I was chair for a while. Were you? Yeah, so, now, so I've been a member uh, over 20 years, anyway. Yes, yeah. because it's a very interesting mix of artists and creatives, isn't it? And, yeah, and yes, yes, they're very varied. and. Um, uh, None, 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 nobody is quite the same as anybody else. And, <laughs> and, uh, and the work I've got on show here is very, very mixed and varied because I've, um, uh, when I was asked to show work, I hadn't got much available. Um, a lot of work had been out in exhibitions and uh, I'd also been very busy in lockdown writing, writing a book and hadn't been recently doing much in the way of painting. Yes. So um, I'm afraid this is a very mixed bag, yeah, the, the work on show here. Uh, some of it going back quite a long way. Yes. Um, in fact, all of it uh, going back a little way. Yes, so these two here. Well, these are uh, very much connected with the way I used to work when I first started painting, yep. which is sort of stream of consciousness and letting uh, Paul Clay suggested that artists should take a line for a walk and okay. see what happened. So this is very much taking a line. Uh, this, this one here was created from a, a sheet of paper I had which I spilled some ink on. <laughs> okay. And so I drew around the dots and created this little, uh, these two little figures of a bird and a man. And it's very yeah. charming for all of that. Well, it's actually the one that's sold, in I, fact. I, I said, yes, I'm very pleased with that. <laughs> that was done quite a long time ago, but um, that was how I began. Uh, I sort of entered art by the back way, the back, uh, back door, by just doodling in a rather uh, complicated way. And this one is a bit of a doodle also. I mean, it was uh, just playing around with line and ink and using my fingers to smudge it. Yeah. Um, and this one here is also the same. It's, uh, I called it taking a line for a walk mm -hmm. from Clay's uh, remark. And it's, it, as you can see, it's a sort of fantasy doodle yes. that um, I've just been playing with images that popped up from the unconscious, really. Uh, a lot of my pictures of when I'm using this type of approach seem to have animals and people within them. There's yes. always an animal and a person yes. in some sort of conversation. Yes. I don't quite know what that will tell about me, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, uh, sometimes the animals are I mean, this is a bird, but this yes. animal, I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, and uh, these two works were uh, woodcuts. One of them is a woodcut that hasn't been finished. It, I, I'm still working on it. It was just a proof. Uh, the girls, they all, um, both of them are woodcuts in a book that I illustrated for the Old Style Press on John Donne's uh, romantic poetry. And that was done some years ago now. And uh, uh, I, love, I love woodcuts and liner cuts. I find them, um, I, I, I did, um, I spent a lot of time printmaking in my long period as an artist. And um, I love 
printmaking of various sorts, the particularly etching, but also block printing. Yes. And this little sketch here, um, it's pen and watercolour, and it's, a, 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 it's of um, a view just downriver from where I live at Aberystwyth, uh, with the little church across the river and the house next to it, where an admiral used to live who died a year or two ago. Um, but it's a view that's always fascinated me. You can see it from the A40 as you head into Brecon. And just behind it, there's a Roman fort. So it's a very historical bit of uh, local landscape. Yes. Um, and I've done a great deal of work with pen and watercolour, um, particularly work since I've been living in Wales. Um, because uh, the landscape, uh, I love the freedom of, well, especially the freedom of using ink, uh, which also relates to my early approach to painting uh, with this stream of consciousness approach. But now it's letting the landscape suggest movement and line. Yes. So it's... Uh, because I think for local people, they're always probably recognisable in some way for where yeah. they are, but there'll be other things yes. sort of in, sort of brought into the picture, aren't there? So yes, they are. Always yes. more charming for that, actually. Mm. But I got very deeply into watercolour in Wales. It, before I came here 30 years ago or so, I really hadn't done any watercolour painting. I mostly painted in oils and acrylics on quite a large scale. Um, I actually became very ill from using oils. I got allergic to turpentine. So oh. I taught a little class of amateurs in London at one stage in St John's Wood and they were all using watercolour. And I was amazed at how, what amazing results they got. They were, uh, it was in St John's Wood and they were mostly old ladies, uh, one or two men. And um, they were working with enormous spurs. Well, I'm actually president of the Royal Watercolour Society of Wales. Of course you are. Now, um, and we've been engaged suddenly in organising exhibitions uh, overseas. Uh, we brought to Bre Brecon an exhibition from the Nordic countries, uh, shown first of all in Reykjavik. Yeah. And that's been the first exhibition in the new uh, museum and art gallery, of course, the guide, the just yeah. over the road from here. Yeah. So I've been deeply involved in that side of things. I've also worked a great deal in, as a printmaker. Yeah. As a, back to uh, these. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm a director of the uh, Swansea Print Workshop, which has been an enormous boon because it has marvelous facilities there for printmaking, and I love printmaking. Yeah. When I first came back to Britain from New Zealand, living there many years, I went to the Central School and did a course on printmaking. Yeah. And um, I, uh, I, I find there's something about playing with plates and the unexpected quality of not quite knowing what will emerge when you pull a, uh, a print from a plate. Yes. That excitement of the um, unexpected it's a bit like taking a line for a walk. Uh, <laughs> uh, the whole thing is, has got that element of surprise, which I love in my painting and print, print making, that um, somehow one is entering an area of exploration where, and you never quite know where you'll come out at the other end. Yes, And yes. Uh, I've never been a painter who works beforehand with uh, uh, carefully worked out plans of what I'm doing. Uh, mm -hmm. I've always enjoyed a, a sense of spontaneity in my work. Um, this uh, goes yeah. for painting and for printmaking. And clearly your, your style has evolved, you know, and you've continued to develop things that you've done, which um, not many octogenarians, I think you're well into your 80s, Robert, mm. can say that probably. Well, I'm 85. 85. And I do feel I'm just beginning. You know, the Japanese artist Hokusai yeah. said that um, when he was 70 or 80, he 
hadn't done anything worthwhile, but he was hoping he would do in the future. And when he was 90, he'd be really getting somewhere. When he was 100, he'd be a good artist. Well, I think this is how I feel. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward. I look forward. I'll book you, Robert. You'll, yeah. You've got a deal. You'll have a solo uh, exhibition if you make my, it to 100. When I'm 100, 100 yes. Yeah. Yeah. If COVID yeah. doesn't get me first. No. Yeah. I will trust that it doesn't. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.